PhD Blizzard. Alright, we're going first. Um, it seems like a good hand. Um, I'll keep it. And then we'll turn one. I have to play the Wind Blade and end turn. He's playing Vanar, so I have to be careful about my columns. Crystal Wisp. To a crystal wisp. <laughs> Alright, so what can I do? I can play. Doesn't matter if I do a lucent beam right now. And so I'll just. Uh... Hmm. I don't want him to get those things, so I might have to replace Divine Bond. Yeah, Sun Tide Maiden. Alright, so we'll just go up there. Then go over here, and then play a Sun Tide Maiden there. Like he's probably he's gonna get the Crystal Wisp regardless because I don't have any I don't have a Sun Bloom in my hand. There's a Sun Bloom in the deck, but I mean uh, I don't have it right now, so I'll just end turn. My uh, Cryogenesis. Alright. So, at least he used one crowd <laughs> Alright, so we have four mana, maybe five. Uh, let's just go over here. I'm gonna replace the Sun Seer. Got a martyrdom, that doesn't help. Um, so we're just going to Prism Barrier. And since it's the same column, I have to avoid the same column next turn. I'll just have to attack for four. And then I'll end my turn. Oh, now we get a sun bloom. Not when the, the mana crystals are on the field, or the mana wisps. Or the crystal wisps. Dark Nemesis. That's a thing. Um, let's... Let's replace the Fizz for now. Got a Sun Drop Elixir, which is pretty good. Um, we'll just Martyrdom it. And, uh, he'll get he'll get seven health, but that's fine. Uh, he's at full. Let's just charge forward. We'll just attack for four and then turn. Got another Wind Blade. Chromatic hold on the wind blade, dang. But it's still a 2 1, you might just tank it. Frostiva. To a warper, that's fine. Uh, what can we do? Let's replace the sun drop for now. We got an Azurite Lion. What we're gonna do is just a sun bloom there. So now it's just a 3 3 vanilla. Um, let's play a wind blade here. And then an azurite lion here. And one turn. Then we got a sun drop back. He has four cards, so he has the card advantage, but we currently have the board advantage. Snowpiercer. <laughs> Things are gonna be hurting. So he's gonna kill the Azurite Lion, maybe, or is he gonna attack me for five? Yeah, he kills the Lion. Purgatos the Realm Keeper. And whenever this minion deals damage, either three do three damage to the enemy or restore three health. What can I do? I'm going to have to replace Sundrop. Because I already have Circle of Life. I don't need 10 health right now. I have to do Circle of Life and then Lucent Beam to the General to get rid of a charge. Alright, 
What will the opponent do? I'm gonna replace Sundrop Elixir. I don't I feel like I don't need that right now. So I'm gonna replace Sundrop. We get a Sun Seer. What we're going to do is go over here. Play the Sun Seer first to get the mana. Then we'll just circle of life the Purgatos. Then we'll end turn. Divine Bond. Cryogenesis, of course. So I have to replace the Divine Bond. So I guess I probably should have done a Lucent Beam instead of the... Another Purgatos, okay. Alright, let's replace Divine Bond. So we got Trinity O, so we have to play that right now because we need the cards and the health. So we got Sky Burial, Martyrdom, and a Radiant Dragoon. We have four mana left, so but we have to Lucent Beam the Purgatos. And then I'm going to replace Sky Burial um, eventually because he's probably going to just play things next to him. And um, I'll just attack, get rid of the artifact, and end turn. We got another Trinity Oath, so we can still heal. Yeah, another Snow Piercer. Okay! Uh, I can't get a read on this deck because I don't really know what kind of deck it is. But it's, it's an annoying deck, that's for sure. Alright, we're gonna replace Sky Burial. We got Holy Immolation. Um, that's good, but not great. I'm just gonna move back. Play a Radiant Dragoon here. We have six mana left. I'm gonna do a Trinity Oath. Get some heals in. Um, we have two mana. I can do Tempest, but it seems like a, an unnecessary risk to do. So I'm just going to end turn there. Oh, we got a Sunforged Lancer. Now I'm probably going to get hit for 7, That's without a question. So I can just do... Oh, another Frostiva. <laughs> do a Warbird. So I'm going to do a Sunforged Lancer into a Martyrdom. Because that will get rid of the things. That will get rid of the threats on the field. So, or I can just do... I can attack... Yeah, I think I'll... Mm. So it's just 8 mana. So I think I can just kill the... I can kill the general right now. I'll just do a double Holy Immolation. So I'll just do that with the Holy Immolation here. And that hits 4 and then that gets rid of the force field and then we'll another Holy Immolation there. And then he's at 1 and I'll attack with the Radiant Dragoon. That was a very close game. Yeah, it, the start was kind of a mess because he did two Crystal Wisps and he got that mana advantage so early, but somehow we pulled through that and we were able to score a victory out of that. I am pretty amazed. So yeah, that was a pretty good game.